girl, it's Shauna Lee here. Welcome to my third video. Also, a huge shout out to my awesome, 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 awesome friend slash sister, Shanae. Although she was away for my birthday, she did manage to provide me with a gift that I absolutely love. And we basically caught up on the weekend, went to the Eka together, and just did all that fun jazz stuff while I was over there. Throughout this video, I will be telling you guys how long I've used a product for. I'll briefly go over what it does for me and what it's been doing like for really really long time i will also try and fit in a few of my brushes not all of them as well as putting in a few of my techniques on how to do certain things with like certain makeup products all together i really hope that you guys enjoy this video if you do be sure to subscribe my social media accounts are up on your right side and i'll see you in the next segment of my video Bye. so jumping into this video straight away i want to get out with the first thing that i use every single morning this is also in my morning routine my daily routine for getting my makeup on just in like a cleansing routine even after I've washed my face so what I do is I take my Swiss Biz 80 makeup pads and I combine it with my witch hazel by Tien Dixon and it cleans and turns your face at the same time basically all comes off with this Alright, now after going in with my Swiss Biz and Witch Hazel, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to moisturize and hydrate my face for when I put my foundation on. So the cream that I always, always go to is my Glam Glow Cream. I have experimented with other moisturizing creams and I've stuck with getting this. So when I do makeup clients, I have three tones as they only have three tones. And this one is the Nude Glow. So this is the mid-tone moisturizing cream. And what I'm going to do is you can use a brush you can use your hands you can use a sponge what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my fingers so i'm basically going to use the back of my nails so that some gets in Ooh. you just apply it to all the dry places that you have on your face i've used some of these products for years now ever since i really did start doing makeup properly and majority of these haven't let me down either oh my gosh my face always goes red but as you guys can see it brings out a little bit of a glow you can see it on my nose there's also no white spots of dry skin on my face so usually I get really really white dry skin here but because I've just toned cleaned and hydrated it it is gone so after doing that step of moisturizing cleansing and toning my face all the other way around the next thing that I go in with is my brow so I've tried a few different brow pomades this one is it suits me the best it's light for me it's also pigmented enough for me. It's not overly dark, but it's not underratedly light. And it's actually the cheapest brow pomade that I've purchased. So this one is at Mecca and it is my billion dollar brow butter in the shade Taupe. So if I turn it around, so my favorite cream concealer to go to and i've used this also in another video and it is also listed on some of my pictorials is my cover effects cream concealer in the shade and light i like this because the consistency is thick it's easy to apply to certain areas that i really want to cut and it's really really pigmented so with concealers you want to make sure that it covers spots that you are aiming to cover and this basically does that job for me so excuse the tribal looking face the next thing that i'm going to get a move on to and this is also a go-to after I've done my brows is I use my Real Techniques color correcting brush I can blend with it and it doesn't actually leave any streaks if it does which time to time it does I'm not gonna lie I go in with my beauty blender which I will be doing after this and the next thing that I like to go in with and this is to make this not move when I put on my eyeshadow is setting powder now the setting powder that I use it actually brightens my eye I take this across my whole entire lid so that I can actually set all the product all the wet product on my eyelids and that product that i'm going to be taking to do so is the laura mercier under eye brightening powder and my favorite brush that i love using is my morph y4 brush so this is a part of the gilded set by morph it just hugs things perfectly on my face now the eyeshadow palettes that i have used and i've used a fair few over the past few years of doing makeup that i am talking about are by anastasia beverly hills and then these ones now she has released a Another one which is called the Norvina one which I don't have yet apart from that I've got her subculture palette I have her prism palette and I have these two a lot of the shades are pigmented the matte ones and the shimmery shiny ones and these are the shades here so these are some of the shades from these two palettes and I'm going to show you guys my favorite brushes that I use when it comes to eyeshadow well, the two of them that I have mentioned is the nude by nature tapered blending brush 
and it's also my MAC 217 brush. Another brush that I found that I am also using now is my M233 brush. There's no actual numbers on this brush, but these are my three favorite go-tos. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyeshadow look. I'm gonna go with my Soft Glam palette. I'm gonna use her shade Sienna. So the next shade that I'm gonna go in with, and it's another really, really pigmented color, although all her pigments are like really, really great, is the Mulberry one. So this one is also in Soft Glam palette. Now, a colour that I'm going to use again, which is also a red one, is going to be in her Modern Renaissance palette, and it is going to be the shade Red Ochre. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a halo. I'm going to actually take her Cypress Umber, and this is in both palettes actually, so there's a dupe of each of them in each other's palettes. So if you guys can't notice, I've actually left the centre of my lids clean of any kind of eyeshadow because the next thing that I'm going to go in with is also another one of my favorites. This one is by NARS and it uses a wand. So this is called the Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base and this basically keeps your eyeshadow on for however long it's set on the box which I have completely thrown away. Now this basically when I have worn this it has made my eyeshadow stay on for like a whole entire day so this is why this is another one of my favorites. I have used the Too Faced Glitter Glue, which I also am going to give props to because that is really, really good. But this one here has definitely stayed on for a lot longer. And it also brings out some of the eyeshadows that I have used before, so that's another one of the pluses with this. But apart from that, that is another reason why that is one of my favorite eyeshadow products to use to keep my eyeshadow in place for a whole entire day. So I'm going to add that bronze tone to my lid. <laughs> blending those colors out and the next thing that I'm going to go in with is also another one of the new products that I got but it's also considered one of my favorites now is my Stila Gold Goddess Magnificent Eyeshadow. Okay, moving on another really really good Stila product that I love using but I unfortunately don't have the full version of it yet is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. Now this one is just um, a plain black my favorite eyelashes and these are my all-time favorite they're feathery they're light they're just they're cheap and on application they look absolutely gorgeous so they are the magnify eyelashes okay, so after clamping those down the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up the fallout that is on my face which is here and here and I'm going to be using the MAC Life will C Marine Bright Form Your Softening Lotion Spray. And what I'm gonna do is apply that all to the areas that have lumps, as well as cleaning up any fallout, which is a good two birds with one stone kind of thing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and minimize all the spots on my face that are really lumpy. But I'm gonna move on to the next thing that I'm gonna use, and that is going to be my favorite foundation. Now this, the first time I used it, I absolutely loved it. And that is my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. It is known as a soft matte longwear foundation foundation and it is true to its word. What I'm going to show you is a little trick that I learned. I'm going to take my MAC Strobe Cream in the shade Peach Light. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this product underneath my eyes as in where the concealer would be going if I did apply it. So what this does is it highlights underneath your eyes, gives it a bit more boost than what your concealer would and it gives a little bit of sheer glow. And I know that for a fact because once I used it with concealer and it was the best thing that I ever did because then I was able to find where to put my highlight. And because I've already used this concealer on screen, I'm going to go ahead and skip it. But before I do skip it, I'm going to let you know that it's this one. The next thing that I'm going to go in with before I cut my contour with the translucent powder is my contour kit. My favorite contour kit is by Too Faced and this is the Cocoa Contour Light to Medium. So basically I've shown you the inside of what it looks like before. These two here are my absolute favorites when it comes to applying contour. Now, the reason that I do like the Cocoa Contour Kit by Too Faced is because it's buildable. But I'm also gonna let you guys know that the reason why I also love this Cocoa Contour Palette is because the color stays. Now I've used contour palettes where it kind of rubs off during my day's wear, but this one is not one of them. So I'm just letting you guys know that. So to set this concealer that is still wet on my jaw areas is I'm gonna take my Givenchy powder which is also known as Universal Nude. What I'm gonna be using is my Beauty Blender. This setting powder is basically my favorite for setting this because it doesn't leave any flashbacks. Neither does my Laura Mercier and it is also easy to 
apply. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply some eyeshadow underneath my eyes and then I will rub this off and get back to you guys. My all time favorite, favorite blush to use nowadays is the Tarte one and I got this newly on my birthday. And I've given you guys a review on it already but it is my favorite because it suits my skin tone and it basically is just, enough, it's pigmented enough for me to either amp up or leave at, which is at a minimum. So the last two things that I'm gonna be doing is using my favorite setting spray, which you guys would already have a small idea what it is. And then I'm gonna be using my favorite highlighter and my lips. So I'm gonna go in with my setting spray first. My favorite setting spray, which you guys would have already gathered, would have been Urban Decay's at Beastly. So this doesn't make my face break out. It actually controls the oil like it says it does. And it just overall does a really, really, really good job. My makeup stays on for a really, really long time. It also amps up my highlight and it just does a really good job at setting things for a certain amount of hours. And that's something that everybody's looking for in Urban Decay. And then I'm gonna apply my Too Faced Diamond Light Highlighter. It comes in the cutest box ever. The brush that I pair it with to apply, and this is for all my highlighters, is my Morph brush. Well, these are my NYX Liquid Suede. They come up on your face really, really great. Especially your lips, which is obviously what they're for. I'm not gonna lie, they come off. But these are the ones that are gonna match this look and then I find myself always going to, so that's why they're a part of my favorite. So this is basically the final look. I hope that you guys really, really liked it. Um, also, if you guys could start sharing my videos amongst other people, that would be amazing. If not, I totally understand. But if you wanna know today and now what my favorite products are, scroll back on the ones that you do like, and you know, if you are considering buying them, I hope I've given you guys a good enough review for those products. Yes, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Check out my Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and whatever else. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video.